10 years ago, I uploaded my first ever video to this channel showing glitches in the Spider-Man game based off the first Tobey Maguire movie. Little did I know I'd wind up covering a bunch of other games and topics, only to have it come back full circle. Because as of today, there are way, way more glitches than what was previously available. Starting with this bizarre glitch that caught me by surprise. In the first level search for justice, there's a spot that Spider-Man can web zip to, which will allow him to crawl on an invisible ceiling. Standing on top of this building, you want to pull out the target camera. That way when you see the spider turn green, you'll know you've gone over the right spot to zip to. You can basically crawl around the sky, which can be pretty trippy to look at. In the same level, you can overlap dialogue that isn't meant to be played together. After having fought enough of the Skulls Gang thugs, you'll have to make your way to a building at the far edge of town where you'll have to fight two more thugs before a cutscene plays, triggering a level endpoint to spawn. By tossing the last thug off the building and then quickly holding the web swing button towards the slow building, you can reach the hint marker which will cause Bruce Campbell to tell you about some shit oh. nobody cares about. While this is happening, that thug will die and the cutscene will start. Once Bruce has stopped talking, the movie letterboxing disappears while the cutscene is still happening. This is possible considering it's an in-game cutscene as opposed to a playback of the video file. Something similar can happen with the lady who needs her purse. After fighting the two thugs and then collecting the purse, start the process of beating up thugs until the last two spawn. But instead of tossing the last guy off the building, push him towards the edge until his hands fly up in excitement. Yippee! If he's in the right spot, you may have just enough time to get back to the purse lady for a conversation, which will be rudely interrupted. Yet somehow, Toby ends up talking twice at the same time. Say so, old man earlier today. Try to stay off the skulls from now Where on. is he? A lot of gang All of the glitches shown here will have been done in easy mode, as this is the quickest way to take down enemies. What better way to demonstrate this than with bosses that you can quickly kill by exploiting some moves? First, you'll want to make sure you got the advanced web gloves power up and chase through the sewer, as it'll be necessary for these exploits. On console versions of the game, you may or may not have known that if you're using the control stick to move Spider-Man around, you can do different punches by holding one of the directions on the D-pad while you punch. In Air Duel with Vulture, after taking him out of the air, apply the advanced web gloves and close to when he's about to land, hold D-pad up and punch so you perform a jumping uppercut. On your way back down, mash B to keep landing hits on Vulture. If timed right, you should have beat Vulture before he went back in the air to continue fighting. If you're on PC, this won't exactly work for you as these types of punches are not possible on this version of the game. However, if you collected the uppercut combo move from Showdown with Shocker, then you're in luck. With a well-timed uppercut combo, as long as the final punch damages Vulture, you can go right into a triple punch to end him off. That's cool, but how about one that was really unintended? Back in Air Duel with Vulture, around the building there should be a combo power-up to collect called Sting. Later on in the offer, you have to fight the Green Goblin. Much like Vulture, when you knock out the part of the meter that allows him to fight you while flying, he'll hop off his glider so you can fight him on land. After having dealt enough impact webs so that the meter will be just past this marker, apply your advanced web gloves, and providing you have an opening, you need to perform the Sting move. This can be a bit annoying as he'll want to attack you quite often, but if the final punch of the attack goes through, he should be knocked onto the ground, then get back up briefly again before a different cutscene plays. Here, Goblin and Spider-Man should normally be present, however since you killed Goblin before the second phase, all that'll be visible are your web gloves. And it's gone! With glitches, clipping through things and going out of bounds always seems to be a fascinating discovery. This game has a plethora of clips, and any common thug can be used to help you get there. You can push them through doors, and then jump on their head, clipping yourself past the door easily, or even go places you normally aren't supposed to hang out in. In the second mission, Warehouse Hunt, you can skip this cutscene using a thug for a door clip, which in turn will leave Uncle Ben's killer motionless in the room to beat up as you wish. The thug that hides in the locked room will also hang around in one spot, meaning you don't have to go gallivanting around with vents to get the fuse he stole. While walking into this corner while web zipping, you can clip right through the wall so you don't have to climb through the vent again. If you're at all familiar with my original Spider-Man glitches video, you may recall I only showed glitches when playing as Green Goblin, 
a secret store unlockable character. The easiest way to perform these was by first putting in the in-game cheats Chill Out and Organic Webbing. This allows for an infinite supply of Goblin Sprint Meter, and will also prevent your glider from overheating when boosting your speed too much. Some of these work on all platforms, however there are two which have been pinpointed down to being possible only on the GameCube version. Close to the boss battle in Showdown with Shocker, this wall will contain an interesting property. Whether it's because the wall is really thin or what have you, if you sprint into the corner, you want to instantly get on your glider while boosting, move up and down, then jump off the glider and sprint right away into the corner again. At this point, Goblin should be flashing, and there will be times where if you hop on your glider and boost instantly again, you'll clip straight through the wall. Since you skipped the cutscene which activates Shocker's battle moves, you'll have free reign to beat him up without repercussions. Even though I tried doing this on the PC version, perhaps on the GameCube version, there could be lag causing this strange exclusive clip to happen. Another interesting GameCube-only clip is in the level Chemical Chaos. In this small room which contains a panel to collect the A element, boosting into this corner while moving up and down on the glider can cause your field of view to completely black out. It's not entirely known why, but when moving around enough, you may find yourself back at the door to the small room. Moving away from the black void will make the room reappear. It could be that you just barely clipped out of the room briefly, just enough to unload it, but since you're still in the room, it won't load the walls and objects until you move towards the area which will spawn it again. These clips have very interesting results. However, the new faces of the speedrunning scene for the game have discovered a painfully easy, yet difficult clip, which you can do in pretty much any indoor area. This begs the question, can you skip large chunks of the missions with this? The answer as of right now is no. Out of Bounds in this game is handled so that it's near impossible to move around. To clip through any wall or floor, you have to have half of Goblin's body off of the corner you want to clip through. Then precisely landing straight with the corner, you can hover up or down. You'll probably be stopped in place if you turn even slightly, but getting back to that angle you were at will help you continue. It is possible to move around out of bounds, however you have to really work hard at it to just barely get by. When jumping off the glider, Goblin will return back in bounds to his last known position on the floor. Now, can Spider-Man clip through stuff? Aside from a clip into the quote-unquote outdoors in the Xbox exclusive level Craven's Test, not really. However, one level does have a wall he can clip into. In Vulture's Lair, there are a couple holes whose broken side you can run up against. And while your target camera is out, you may spot the spider turning green for a brief second, aiming straight along the inside of this wall. If you can mash the web zip button fast enough to catch the target camera turning green, you'll clip partially into the wall. If you're standing on the floor, you may be able to web zip again through the rest of the wall. For best results though, you want to cancel the web zip with a jump to land inside this pillar. Here, web zipping straight up will bring you right to the next floor. How about a soft lock? In coup d'etat, if you immediately apply advanced web gloves as soon as possible, double jump and then punch Goblin, you'll have knocked him out completely, though nothing will end up happening. Although I wonder if there's something I should be doing- Oh my god. Whatever. It's getting hot up here! You should have thought of that earlier. Oh, now he wants to fight me, dude! Wait, that was the... Did I get the thing? <gasps> what? Yeah. Wait, did you see that? Look! Okay. Now I should be <laughs> but I don't have... I find it cool that there are so many different glitches now than there were when I first made my video, even though it's from a game that people either don't know or have largely forgotten about. It makes sense when you understand that Spider-Man is a constantly evolving thing, and as the technology keeps getting better, more fleshed out stories can be told. I did enjoy the Spider-Man Remastered game, even if it did have stuttering issues on my PC. Despite the ever evolving nature of the franchise, this movie adaptation game will always hold a special place in my heart. If you'd like to see more Spider-Man stuff, let me know in the comments below. I'd like to quickly shout out Just Phase, who as of the upload of this video, has made two glitches and tricks videos involving this game. 
He covers a lot more in these videos, so make sure to check him out, link in the description. I would like to also extend my gratitude to everyone that supported me back then, as well as everyone that is watching now. Here's to more cool ideas and other videos that have yet to be made. With that being said, thank you all for watching and until next time, take care and peace.